Today, somebody sent me this video from Daniel Bergman 99 titled Amazing Animals That Defy Evolution. And in it, Daniel is talking about giraffes. So let's hear what he has to say. What happens when the giraffe bends down to drink some water? All of that blood would rush to the giraffe's brain and it would blow its brain out its ears. That would be a problem for evolution. You can't evolve if you're dead. Individuals don't evolve, populations do, so it really doesn't make a lot of sense to say that one giraffe dying doesn't affect the evolution of all the rest of the giraffes. Also, mitochondria and viruses are two examples of things that are not alive but do evolve. Evolution's cool like that. But God created an amazing feature in the giraffe's neck that are like valves in its artery that regulate how much blood goes to the giraffe's head. Valves that ensure that blood vessels only flow in one direction are indeed incredible, but they are not even close to unique. In fact, your body is full of them, especially in your legs, which is why blood doesn't pool down in your feet until you get a little bit older and those valves start to give out, and that's where you get varicose veins as the blood does pool in your feet and those blood vessels start to distend. It also has a sponge-like feature around its brain, protecting it from excess blood flowing into its brain. Without this feature, the giraffe is dead. That brain sponge is called a rite mirable, or miraculous net. It's an interwoven system of blood vessels, and it is also not even close to unique to the giraffe. Lots of other animals have it, especially fish and aquatic mammals, and they all use it for the same reason, for maintaining stable oxygen concentrations in relatively weird conditions. And by the way, it's also an example of convergent evolution, which means all these different groups evolved it independently of one another. They don't share a common ancestor that has a rite mirable, so it's not only not unique to giraffe, it's not even a unique adaptation in general. These are features called irreducible complexity, meaning the giraffe cannot survive without all of these things being created within it at once. It's true to say that the giraffe needs all of these features, but it's not true to say that they couldn't have all evolved at once. In fact, that's something so common that we have a word for it. We call it mosaic evolution. We serve an amazing God, and the giraffe is just one example. Yeah, bad example. I give this video a science teacher challenge level 4 out of 10. You do need to know some animal biology to really understand the adaptations that he's talking about here, but even if you don't, irreducible complexity is a terrible argument. Thanks so much for watching, have an awesome day, and never stop learning. I